And may I first start by congratulating you all on the jog. I think the jog is one of the best things running today. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'm really concerned that you don't go down the road of financial uh, intervention in your prison. Never. <laughs> well, never. And may I say a word about Soprano? Because I was one of the long jazz draftsmen at the time, and I was given the job of drawing up the boat. And despite what Patrick says, I think the great thing about Soprano is that she is logical from end to end. Every aspect of her is right and proper and easy. And she was a lovely boat. Uh, he used to lend it to her occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she would do anything for you. I mean, in harbour, she would tack like a dinghy and do anything like a dinghy and you would fend her off like a dinghy if she came to any kind of problem. But take her outside the harbour and she would cope with a sea. Like, like I mean, she just did it and it wasn't what the problem. It's all his fault. <laughs> 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 The, the other aspect of it was uh, Humphrey Barton, who you all know, said it was a dark, dangerous little boat who really needed more beam. So there was another version produced very shortly afterwards, of which three were built, with more beam. And it was a dreadful boat. <laughs> <laughs> it was, they were nice enough boats, but they weren't of the standard of Soprano. Uh, one of those boats, you had to leave 20 feet clear of any boy who came to an sea boat. <laughs> <laughs> because she'd, get, she'd go up on her extra beam and skate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So really doesn't, she just did it. She just pointed, she went where you pointed it, and, and she tended to help you out if you got into any problems. Mm-hmm. But the, the whole concept, I think, that Patrick produced is uh, of looking at the logics of a boat design rather than uh, 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 the um, way boats were commonly designed. I mean, uh, the idea of common boat designs in those days had been Victorian atmosphere to it, and you always expected to pay a hand in the boat for But fortunately, she had to make room for a boat for her. <laughs> <laughs> but please, I think if I may say so, uh, one of the great uh, things we have from Patrick is a, an approach of logical, I'll put that the other way around, a logical approach to the use of a boat at sea. And yeah. I mean, when I was just after the war, uh, in my yacht club, it was thought rather brave to go across the channel. He did it in a little Cito canoe. Yeah. And I may mention that when he came back to this coast, he used to put his boat in the dinghy rack and hang the yellow flag from the rudder. <laughs> I remember another occasion when someone said to him, do you mind if I empty your balance tank? He said, there's not a balance tank, so just put a water. <laughs> <laughs> but I, th- I think, please, it- it's a great pleasure to see this Judo offshore group thriving in such a way and with such a Corinthian ethos to its work. And. Uh, uh, um, I don't know what I can do to help in any way, but if we can, I'd better please do so in his memory. Wrong But that, that's the way forward, I think. But this idea that you use the logic of what you're talking about, and if we had any problems in Sopranino, Patrick was straight away into sorting out the answer. And he never st- stopped to worry about things so much as sorting out the answers. That's why Miss Sesso is what I'd like to say. Thank you. Three cheers, guys, for John. Hip, hip.